Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2015 on a 65 plate Mercedes SLK. It's a 2.1 SLK 250D AMG Sport G-Tronic Auto. It's a Euro 6 vehicle, it's done just 38,000 miles and it's got full service history with six service stamps in the book. Do you get my words out? Six service stamps in the book. Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular, mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home, but as if you were here today with me in person. As I walk around the vehicle with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, scratches or dents. We'll look at the wheels and tyres, looking at the tread depths and under the arches, if I can get the camera under there. Um, we'll have a look in the boot, then we're going to have a look inside the car, looking at the seats and all the functionality, show you the roof opening, things like that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, then we're going to have a look under the bonnet, have a look at the engine bay, and then finally, if I can get my camera underneath, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine and the chassis and all the other bits under there as well, exhaust, etc. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you're looking to finance it, we can go through an application with you, which takes about five minutes and we can usually get you a decision within around an hour. Um, you don't need to put a deposit in if you don't want to, but obviously the more you put in, then the less you'll pay on a monthly basis. Um, it's also worth mentioning while you're watching the video, if you think you've missed something, or if you'd like to see something in a bit more detail, please just ask, it's not a problem at all. We work on complete transparency here at JustCompareCars.com, so I'd rather make sure that you can see everything that you're happy want and wanting to see while you're sat at home and comfortable. Um, so you know, obviously, if you have the vehicle delivered or you come and fetch it, you know that it's exactly what you're after. Right, let's start with the bonnet and then we can work our way around from there. Now... Um, hopefully you can see uh, from the image it's in superb condition obviously whoever's owned this has obviously looked after it and loved it um, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out just looking at the extras that it's got so yeah the the bonnet's in superb condition I can't see any unusual marks or dints it's very very clean driver's side headlight as you can see is in really very clean condition there's a very small stone tip just underneath. The actual headlight itself is really very clean. Um, I can't see any marks, scratches or dints. Uh, there's no cracks or anything like that. It's really very nice and clean. Across the leading edge of the bonnet, there are a couple of stone chips. Nothing serious at all. It's got front parking sensors. It's got the Panamera style grille with the parking sensors embedded. The actual front bumper's in superb condition, really very clean. And then obviously the passenger side headlight, and again, you can see it's in great condition. There's no, uh, no damage, no misting, no cracks, everything's spot on. Passenger side front wing, and again, it's in superb condition. I can't see any marks or dints, it's very, very clean. <clears throat> so, passenger side front wheel and tyre, you can see it's an AMG alloy. Just make sure there's no damage on the wheel at all. Um, it's a, a Rodex tyre. And tread depth, I'd guess there's probably about seven or eight millimetres of tread. Uh, the windscreen is free from stone chips or cracks. It's very clean. Over the pillars. Zoom that out a little bit, that's better. And you can see, again, there's no damage or marks on there. They're all very clean. And the roof is also in superb condition. Nice view to take of the vehicle is obviously down the side. You can see from here, um, there's no uh, mismatch of paint colour, so it's not been painted, and there's no misalignment of gaps either. The mirror back, nice and tidy, no damage, very clean in fact, and the mirror is intact. Let's look down the panel. Nice view to take, obviously from this view you can see if there's any imperfections in the paint or any dints or marks, and hopefully you'll appreciate there isn't. It's very, very clean.
passenger rear wheel and tyre. Wheel's in great condition, there's no damage. Um, it's a Churchill tyre. And I'd guess there's about five or six millimetres of tread. So rear bumper. Again, we've got parking sensors. And there's nothing to point out to you in regards to uh, stone chips or damage. It's very, very, like my words, that is very, very clean. The boot is in great condition. As is the spoiler. And there's no dints or marks. It's very, very clean. Passenger side tail lights in nice clean condition, no damage, misting or cracks, it's very tidy. As is the boot. And then the driver's side tail light, again, really nice clean condition, no damage, misting or cracks. Let's make sure we've not missed anything on the bumper. Oops. No, it's superb. Okay, so driver's side. And again, it's in superb condition. There's no mismatch of paint and no misalignment of gaps. Let's do this side of the roof. And the pillars. And again, there's no damage. Everything looks really very nice and clean and tidy. Going down the driver's side, looking again down the panel for any imperfections in the paint, any marks or damage, and there's nothing at all. It's in superb condition. Obviously, this is a real credit to whoever's owned it before because they've obviously taken care of it. Obviously, the mileage confirms that anyway, doesn't it? But yeah, it's in superb condition. Mirror back's in great condition as well. And the mirror's intact. And then driver's side front wing. And again, it's in great condition. No marks, damage or dints. Um, let's do the driver's side rear wheel and tyre. Obviously matching wheel. Um, it's a PHIR Accelera tyre. And I guess there's about four or five millimetres of tread. And then driver's side front wheel and tyre, wheel's in great condition again. Tyre. Can't see where they make it, but it is. Oh, it's the same as the opposite side. And I'd guess there's about four or five millimetres of tread. Okay, so uh, the exterior of the vehicle, superb. A uh, couple of stone chips on the front, nothing serious at all. And on the whole, the bodywork is actually really very, very clean. I can't see a dint on it. I can't see any marks on it. Um, it's very, very clean and tidy. Right, so on the interior. Let's put that down there. So on the leading edge of the door, there are a couple of little marks that have been touched in historically. Nothing serious at all. You wouldn't see them. So, uh, driver's side door card is in nice clean condition. Very, very clean. Uh, not sure why that's there, there's a bit of tape on that. Maybe that's just like, I think that's a protection film that's just coming off a little bit. Um, obviously you've got your electric windows, electric folding mirrors and your mirror control on there as well. And then your central locking up above. But the leather's in lovely condition as is the door card. There's no unusual wear or damage. Superb. Again, on the door, kick plate, everything else, really nice and clean. Seats are very firm on the bolsters. 
and the material as you can see is in really very clean condition it's got the uh, scarfs on the back as well so the wind scarf so when you've got the roof down it pulls warm air to the back of your head nice option there's a slight amount of wear on the bolster, but it's nothing really in comparison. As I say, the bolsters do feel like new. Um, high adjustable seat. Um, it's got the AMG mats. And the carpets, as you can see underneath, are in superb condition as well. Very, very clean. Right, let me climb in. Um, passenger seat um, the bolsters actually feel like new and the seat's in absolutely fantastic condition it doesn't look like it's been used very much if at at all if at at all dashboard is in again it's in lovely condition there's no unusual marks there's no marks you know like where people stuck stupid things onto the dashboard or anything like that there's none of that it's all in very clean and very very nice condition and um, the steering wheel is in very good condition as well um, there's no unusual wear or marks or the stitching as you can see is in place nothing out of place at all very very clean it's got an armrest and it's very comfortable in there you've got a USB and 12 volt socket. Cup holders, obviously. And your shifter. And there you've got your 12 volt socket. Um, command unit, obviously. Let's start it up. So this one has got two proper Mercedes keys. To start it, it's just a matter of obviously putting your foot on the brake flicking it over to the right, it preheats and it just starts on its own, no problems at all. So we set down. So in regards to the dashboard, um, the only warning light I've got on at the minute is we're on reserve fuel. If we get rid of that. And as you can see, there's no other warning lights on there at all. Apart from obviously the handbrake, I'm not wearing my seatbelt. Um, you've got a media centre on this one, um, so let's have a quick look at it. We've got DAB, FM, medium wave, short wave, long wave, short wave, wow. Um, and we go above, we've got the navigation. You can see it's full colour and it works perfectly, really nice clear screen. Yeah, everything works spot on. Um, heated seats in the front, let's give them a whirl while we're here. Obviously, uh, it's got the uh, electric roof, so let's give that a go. Really slick operation, works perfectly, and you can see it's very, very quick as well. So let me just pull that back down, jump out, and have a good look around it now that the roof is off. So you can see with the roof off, we've got daylight running lights, obviously because the engine's running now, they're working perfectly. And the car looks just as nice as it does with the roof on as it does off so you've got the best of both worlds you've got a really sleek coupe or a really nice cabriolet so yeah very very nice bit of kit clearly been looked after it's got the i presume it's an optional extra of the windshield on the back so it doesn't blow your hair about when you're driving it around. Uh, a few other things to notice, it has got stop start. Let's put the roof back on. To put it down, you basically push it down like that. And then it reverses the operation as you can see. And 
and it's just as slick going up as it is going down. All the windows shut and everything's spot on. Um, inside, smells nice, doesn't smell like it's been smoked in. Um, there's no nasty whiffs, it just smells clean and it does smell very nice, I've got to be honest. Um, it is a real credit to whoever's owned this. It, uh, I know I keep saying that, but it honestly is, it's so clean. Right, so. Let me. You can hear that. Fans are working perfectly in the seats as well. So that's good. Put those there. I don't know where the bonnet catch is on these. I think that's it there. It is. That's it. Let's have a quick look in the passenger side. So again, you can see the door cards are in superb condition, really very, very clean, all very nice. Kick plates are grand great. And just to confirm, obviously the seat is in fantastic condition. Being really picky, there's a very, very fine mark on the leather there. Maybe someone's jeans or something just caught it slightly. Um, AMG carpet again, obviously in the front. And the carpet underneath, I can't pull it up, is in great condition. Very, very clean. Um, obviously it's got all the service history, and that I believe is a nav command unit there. Let's have a look under the bonnet. So obviously it's got full service history, it's all up to date. Um, it goes without saying, there's not a great deal to see under here, but obviously it's really very clean. Um, the fluids are clean and to the correct levels. I don't know if you notice or not, there is evidence we don't clean under the bonnets. I can't see the point myself. Um, obviously you're just creating potential problems. Um, but you can see it's in superb condition, very, very clean under the bonnet. Um, nice to see, to be fair. It's a real credit to its previous keeper. I know I keep saying that. But yeah, very, very nice and clean. Let's have a look in the boot. Um, obviously the tray, as it stands like that, is down, which means that the roof will come uh, up and down. It needs to be in that position to open and close. Um, underneath here. Is your ad blue, because obviously it is a Euro 6 vehicle, and it's got a tyre inflation kit as well. In. Must be doing that wrong, it's not going in properly. There we go, there it is. Oopsie. Oh, sorry about that. Right, so yeah, um, obviously ensure if you have a problem with it when you've bought it and it doesn't have the roof won't go up and down, it's because that's probably not in place. That just needs to be down and that's it. Um, the triangle is there. Okay, so um, let's have a quick look underneath. If I can get my camera under back on. Oh, I can't just. Oh, no, 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 not quite. And from what I can see, it looks very clean the tie, but obviously there's a, like there's a panel underneath. But anyway, it is very, very clean, and I keep saying that. So, yeah, hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here today with me in person. Maybe a little bit more. I know I'll go on, but obviously, from my point of view, I'd rather show you too much than not enough. Um, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will obviously secure it. Um, if you go and look on our Facebook page, which is justcomparecars.com, um, you will find more pictures of this car on our Facebook page that you won't find anywhere else. Um, have a look, give us a like and a follow while you're there. I really appreciate it. For the moment, though, thanks for watching and sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Take care, stay safe. Bye bye.